If you have always wanted to explore Greece, well, now you can without even having to leave the country. Just make the short trip to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Leslie Olson is here with us back once again to tell us about this amazing exhibit that you have now at the museum. It's got two two parts to it. It's so large. It does. It's taking a look at modern day Greece and ancient Greece. So let's start with ancient Greece first. Okay, it's called Treasures of Ancient Greece. And Heather, it has been in the works for three years. We've negotiated with the country of Greece and we have 150 authentic artifacts that are priceless. Many of them have never been out of the country of Greece and uh, they have come to our museum and it is spectacular to see. What you're looking at here is called the Antikythera mechanism. Now that is an actual replica, but what it is is believed to be the first analog computer in the world. And it was discovered by Jacques Cousteau in the early 1900s from a shipwreck. And so then this part is a modern look at how it probably worked. It, this exhibit is filled with beautiful bronze and marble statues. You learn all about the first Olympics, mythology, uh, philosophy, all kinds of things. And what we really are hoping that visitors take away is how ancient Greece actually uh, inspired the Western world. Um, our democracy is very similar to the democracy of ancient Greece. Philosophy politics, sports. So we try to tie in how ancient Greece has affected how we live today. Well, your, your team must have some good negotiators. They do, <laughs> I'll tell you, they artifacts. do. And yeah. what else I love about watching that little clip there, um, it is a children's museum, right. but those weren't just children enjoying um, what you have to offer. That is truly an exhibit that we think older students, parents, grandparents, everybody is really going to in enjoy. Uh, the other one is called Take Me There, Greece, exploring modern day Greece. Now, it might be a little more geared toward families with younger children. What happens is you come into the exhibit, you get on an airplane right here, <laughs> you can see doing it, you sit there, you feel it taking off, the pilot speaks to you, teaches you a few words in Greek, and then you land in Athens. And here you are in, in beautiful Athens. And there is so much for the young kids to do and families. Here they're learning the steps for a Greek wedding. And everybody wants to, you know, know how to dance at a Greek wedding. Yeah, get your dance on. Right, and they'll learn how to bake faux baklava or make olive oil, which is one of the greatest, biggest exports of Greece and they turn the wheels and they get it going and they see how the olives are pressed and how it all works. And then there's another really fun place. It's uh, where they learn how to protect and help uh, conserve sea turtles. That's really a problem in Greece. They're worried about their sea turtles. So we have an area where the young families can learn all about uh, protecting uh, sea turtles. And here you see they're baking the baklava and <laughs> serving their families and just seeing how life is a little different somewhere else. But really getting hands-on learning and experiences like that. Right. So exciting um, for the museum to be able to have this feature thanks to lots of great partners that you yeah, have. So yeah. we want to give a shout out to them. But how long is this going to be available for people to come check out? Take Me There Greece will be here three to four years. It, it started as Take Me There Egypt then it became Take Me There China, now Take Me There Greece. And we like families to see what other cultures are yeah. like. The Ancient Greece exhibit is only here until January. So if you want to see it, you've got to get over yeah. and see it. Definitely exciting things always happening there at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. For those who have never been, Besides coming and checking out Greece, because I don't know as though a lot of people are going there over the summer, um, maybe you are, um, <laughs> well, but nice. what else is there to offer um, families? Well, we are five full floors, nearly 500,000 square feet of exhibits to explore inside, but outside we've also opened last year a 7.5 acre sports park, and it's wonderful in the summer. You can try 12 different sports. Families play together and uh, just have a great time. And it's you, you get hot on the outside, you come in and cool off on the museum inside. Yes. And it's a full day or two of adventure. Well, definitely something to add to your summer bucket list is making the short trip to Indy. Leslie, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you, Heather. Sharing a little bit more about how you can be Greek for the day there at the Children's Museum. There's a look at their website. And we'll connect you with everything happening over at CILiving.tv.